Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Leanna. Today is June the 12th, so day 12 of a daily vlog. Today did not go as planned for me. I woke up just feeling like, bleh, you know, just a little bit groggy, just tired, whatever. So I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. What I want to talk about is silent shows. Right now I'm actually running a silent show on Posh Canada via Sidekick. I have not run shows in quite a while, so I thought, you know what, let's shake it up, let's do a couple of silence and see if it picks things up a little bit more. So I've already did one on Posh US today, and now I'm doing one on Posh Canada, which is just something else to do, because like I said, I didn't get everything done, what I wanted to do, so I decided this would make up for it. So with silent shows, there is something I do want to talk about, and that is share shows. I have not been a part of a share show. I have not had a share show. I think they're really interesting. They're an interesting concept if you have the time to actually run one or be a part of one. One of the reasons I bring this up is that I had a notification a couple of days ago that somebody had picked two of my items to run in their share show. And I was like, okay, what is up with that? Why did they do that? And what is going on here? So first of all, I did calm myself down and know that they couldn't run my actual items, you know, with their prices or anything like that, unless they had permission from me. As the seller, I still have to do things in order for the, those items to run in a share show. I thought it was a little presumptuous of them to pick a couple of my items, but maybe that is a way that they let people know that they're willing to run other people's items. It doesn't happen. I mean, this is the first time it's happened to me, so I'm not mad about it. I did think it was a little presumptuous, but it got me thinking about share shows and wondering if it was a way to get into doing more live shows, getting my items out there, whether or not it was worth it. If anybody out there has had some experience either running a share show or having items in a share show and they want to share that information down below in the comments. I would really appreciate it. I'm thinking of reaching out to a couple of people that I know, especially on Posh US, that do some shows to see if they're willing to run a couple of my items, just to see if it, you know, if it helps at all. At this point in time, I like to just to do different things. I've said this before, let's try something new. So I'm going to see what happens. I'm also thinking about doing a silent share show just to see if that will help as well. Why not? Let's try it out. But I will keep you posted on whether or not I do that. I need to get more information first. You know, the basics, how do you run one and all that kind of stuff. So today did not go as planned. Like I said, I did not get anything photographed or anything listed. I just it was not feeling it. You know, I may or may not have let the kitten sleep on me for an hour or two today you know maybe i don't know <laughs> um right now he's over he's sitting over here on paul because he just came up the stairs which is cool he's getting along with the other cats okay my little black cat is a little put out but the gray one they've been nose to nose so they've been doing well anyway so i didn't get anything listed or photographed today so i decided that i would relist a little bit more so I relisted between 26 and 29 items and when I say I relisted what I mean is I selected I think I ended up selecting like 26 on Posh Canada selected them delisted them deleted the listing altogether and I just cross listed them back from Posh US this makes them a brand new listing regardless of whenever they were originally listed because it's treated as a brand new listing and then I did the same for Posh US I picked I think I picked 29 for Posh US delisted it from Posh US and then relisted from Posh Canada so for me that's almost as good as listing something new considering I just didn't have the gumption to go downstairs and photograph just wasn't feeling it today I did go out and get my groceries done and I did some house stuff, so I was really happy with that. I also popped into my local value, uh, no, wrong store, Mission Thrift Store, and I'm really glad I did. I actually went looking to see if they had anything for the kitten, because you know, I'm in that mode right now. I did pick up a Torrid wedding dress. I will show you that um, 
Friday, I think I'm going to do a haul video for Friday because tomorrow is Thursday. I should be going to the bins tomorrow and I want to show you everything. So I'll show you that. I am running two silent shows. I ran one in Posh US and I'm running one now on Posh Canada. That is really good for me. I'm going to go downstairs and pack my order for tomorrow, my US order. Sales kind of slowed down a little bit, then that's okay. And I'm filming. So I've done stuff. I just haven't done a lot. And you know what? That's okay. We'll talk about hustle culture another day. Tomorrow is Thursday. I'm not going to be able to get anything really listed or like photographed tomorrow. That's not part of the goal. If it happens, that's fantastic. Um, tomorrow I am going to the cross border shipper. I'll pop into the bins. I got to go to the gym because I didn't go this morning. So I want to get that done. And we'll see how I feel in the afternoon and see what I what else I can get done. I want to do a couple more shows, see if that will help, you know, play with the algorithm or something. And that's what I'm going to get done tomorrow. It's not going to be a huge day because I find do, go, doing the cross border shipper because it is an hour drive there and back it does take a little bit out of me. So, you know what? And sourcing is physical and it's, you know, doing stuff. So let's see how I feel. Anyway short video today because you know what that's the way it goes sometimes but that is it for today i hope everybody has a fantastic wednesday and i'll see you tomorrow bye